I am on the POS Awesome GitHub repository here. And if you don't know how to get here, just type POS Awesome GitHub and then click on this first link here. It's going to take you here. So when you are here, how do you install this on your uh, ERP next instance? Let me show you here for instance. If I go to about, uh, these are the apps I have here. I do not have POS or some anywhere. We can also be able to see that from our instance here. If I do bench version, you see that here I do not have POS or some. Now we want to go ahead and install it. We are also going to have POS Awesome here on this menu after we have installed it. All right, let me just reload just to make sure. And yes, you can see we do not have any POS Awesome here. So let's go ahead and do this. So if you scroll down here, you're going to find that there is actually a guide here on how to install it. Now, the, uh, the good thing is that these ones have provided a link, uh, the, the bench get up command that you're going to run to install it. But I'll show you how to install any app that is on GitHub if maybe the other did not uh, give you these steps. So you see here, GitHub will always give you this button here with code. And ju when you click on it, there is this, uh, this clone uh, function here. There are three, uh, three accessible functions here that you can do. You can get this, uh, you can clone through HTTPS, SSH, or GitHub CLI. Now pick the HTTPS one and make sure you copy this and then go back to your code and do a bench uh, get iPhone app and then paste that link there. So get bench get app and then you paste what you copied and that is going to be cloned into your ERP next instance. So we can give that a minute or two to complete and then we are going to, to proceed. So it's building uh, POS Awesome Assets now, and it is done. What is going to happen when I run bench version now is that I am going to see here I have POS Awesome, but POS Awesome has not yet been installed. You can confirm that by reloading here, and you can see actually we have a problem. We have a problem on our page. So let's go ahead and follow the stages here. The second thing is to uh, run the set setup uh, setup requirements this is what is going to eliminate this error it is going to get all the requirements that are needed to make sure that this one works perfectly and install them on your instance so let me paste this one here so bench setup requirements then i'll run that and it is going to go ahead and fetch uh, fetch a number of items and then it's going to set them up to my system so this one is actually checking the configuration files and checking what is required from those configs and installing them in your system so we can give this some time normally it takes uh, uh, quite a bit of time so we can we can allow it time uh, as that continues I can introduce you to my blog which is code uh, with Karani here and Code with Karani. At Code with Karani, we help with a number of functions. You can see the services that we provide here. Uh, our services range from development of software, including ERP Next development. We do integrations if you want to integrate with other software or even hardware. We can also customize for you if maybe you want some uh, things to be customized. And we also do training. This is amazing. We also do training. And this one we have two types of trainings here we have user training where we train you on the modules that are on erp next that is how to use them and we also have developer training in developer training we train you on how to do development so we have beginner uh, uh, and we also have advanced training sessions and you can also take both and then we have api development let's say for instance you want to integrate with uh, another software and maybe the software uh, the software is uh, maybe you have not uh, you have not integrated it before so you don't have an existing api we can go ahead and help you to write this api and you will be good to go 
So those are the kind of things we do at Code with Karani and you can feel free to contact us on the contact us form here and we shall help you. You can also write us a direct message at, uh, on this WhatsApp and we are going to respond to you. So this one is still doing its thing, uh, installing, now it's installing the modules and then uh, we are going to be done here. This is now installing POS Awesome and looks like we have a success. So it's now building the assets. So at this stage where it is building the assets, this is where it is getting the asset files like the CSS, JSON and all that and putting them together and compiling them in such a way that you have next to be able to access them and use them. And it is done. So let me take you back to the, uh, to the documentation. So we have done that. And then this command is very important. Build uh, up POS Awesome. This also does almost the same thing as this build command was doing, but it is important to do it, to make sure that every asset has been built and compiled properly. And that is done. And now the next command will definitely be to just bench start your uh, system so that you can migrate it. So we paste it here. This is where I'm doing the bench start. Oh, this is bench restart. No, I needed bench start. And this is now running. And therefore, I can go ahead and do a number of things. So this is where now we need to install the app that we just downloaded. That is POS Awesome onto our site. So what is the name of our site here? Sorry. The name of our site, I can just go to sites just to confirm the name of our site. Uh, where am I going to install this? I have so many sites here. Let me see. Let me install it to... Let me see first of all which is the current site. So cut. So that I can install it on the current site. is code with current. So clear. And then I can do, uh, actually go back and do bench and then site code with Karani and then I'm going to say install app and it is POS awesome go and that one is going to go ahead and actually install POS awesome on this site here so make sure to replace this with the name of your site and then when this is done, the next thing is just to migrate that site to make sure that all the database tables have been migrated as uh, successfully. So, ah, nice, that is done. So we are now going to do bench site and the site is called with karani.com and then uh, migrate. So this migrate command is what I am saying is what makes sure that all the sites, uh, the database tables that have come with this app have been migrated successfully. And that looks like it is done. And now when we do bench uh, version, we are going to find that here we have POS Awesome. Here it is. And now we can go back to our site here on the browser. Where is it? Uh, where is our site? Yeah, this one, which had an error refresh it and now everything should be fine let's see whether that is the case yeah looks like we have loaded our page successfully now look at the menu here already on the menu there's a green light we have pos awesome here this this menu has been added and now when you go to help and check about we will also find that pos awesome is one of the uh, apps that have been installed onto our instance that's how you install uh, POS Awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best.